Hello friends and welcome back to our channel. One of the biggest questions we definitely get from both people looking to move here and locals is where the cheapest place to buy a home in Utah really is. Now this is a loaded question because as we all know cheap is relative and what they usually mean is where can I get the most bang for my buck while still actually wanting to live in the house, right? We'll stick around because we're going to tell you the top 10 cheapest places to buy in Utah that you actually want to live in. If this is your first time to this channel and you want to know everything about living, eating, sleeping, working, and playing in Northern Utah, then subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current market here in Northern Utah. We are Sloan and Kim Peterson with the Peterson Group and we've been in the real estate business for 10 years and every day we help people just like you looking to buy, sell, or invest in Utah and we absolutely love it. Whether you're looking to buy nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. All the information is in the description below so we can help you make that smooth transition to Utah. Let's go ahead and get into it. Now, just some quick things to keep in mind. The median home price here in Utah has climbed to about 525,000. So Utah isn't as affordable for some as it maybe used to be. And affordability is always relative. And what we really want to give you are just places where you might be able to get more house for your money, or you might be able to find some houses still below the median price point if you're willing to sacrifice you know, some of that drive time or distance from some of those commercial conveniences. So keeping all that in mind, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we're going to start with our personal favorite because we're a little bit biased, and that's Ogden. Now, Ogden doesn't have a great reputation always, but I can tell you that everyone we personally know that lives in Ogden, like, loves it. And I mean loves it. And I mean they're lifers here. They would never move outside of Ogden, and that's ourselves included. Now, again, as we've said many, many times in other videos, where you pick to live is very personal to you, and each city will have different pros and cons, so do your research when you are looking at where you want to move. But for me, the affordability factor that of what you can get, coupled with downtown Ogden and the proximity to all the trails, is all a win for me. Ogden City has actually taken a lot of initiative to bring the city up, and they get about 10 to 12 houses a year, old bungalows, and they renovate them and give incentives to teachers and police officers first to kind of bring up the community. And I would say it has majorly changed over the last few years. A lot of the homes you'll find are older, but they are well kept and a good price point. For example, the median home price in Salt Lake is $525,000, as we've already told you. And Ogden, it's currently at $400,000. So you'll find a lot of young families and older residents and the local restaurants and shops just round out why it's a good city if you're looking for that more affordable housing. Okay, so the second city we're going to look at is Clearfield. Now, Clearfield is on the west side of our major freeway, I-15, and it actually has started to grow and come up in the last few years. Now, one of the greatest things about choosing Clearfield, aside from the affordability, is its proximity to both Ogden and Layton. It's about 15 minutes away from each, so if you work on Hill Air Force Base or you travel to Ogden for work, it's going to be a fairly quick commute to either one of those. Clearfield's current median home price is about $440,000, and it is in Davis County, which does have higher taxes, and a lot of the homes are newer in comparison to Ogden. Clearfield, again, is a really family-friendly community. I would say that you're going to find a lot of families and kind of those move-ups in those areas, and it's got a ton of parks and green spaces, so it's really a nice choice for more of that affordable housing feel. Okay, and number three on the list is Roy, which is also on that west side, just north of Clearfield and back in Weber County. If you work at Hill Air Force Base, there is a Roy entrance into the base, making it an ideal location to pick if you work on base. But again, a really easy commute into both Ogden and Layton as well. In terms of the city, Roy is super community oriented and does a lot of community activities in the city that make it a great place to live if you like the strong sense of community. The median home price currently sits around the 407,000 mark. And the awesome thing about Roy is that it has a lot of different types of homes. So whether you are just starting out or you want to move up into your second or third home, it kind of has all of those options. There are a lot of restaurants in the area, both local and some chain restaurants, and a number of parks and other conveniences. So it's really another great option if you're looking for affordability. 
All right, so coming up on fourth on the list is going to be Price. So now Price is a city we haven't really talked about on our channel because it's located in central Utah, which is south of Salt Lake City. People love living in Price because it's really situated in a beautiful landscape part of Utah, and it really has a small town feel to it. Price is known historically for its coal mining and its recreational areas. It does sit close to the northern section of the San Rafael Swell, which is home to vast deserts, yawning canyons, and fascinating rock formations. In terms of housing affordability, Price's median home price is $350,000, so it's quite low for the state. While Price is growing, it is still a relatively small city, so the trade-off for a good home price might be commuting to your job or some conveniences that you could lose there. Salt Lake City is approximately about two and a half hours from Price, just to give you an idea kind of where Price is in relation to our capital city. Okay, so coming in next is Logan. Logan is another area that's remained surprisingly affordable. Now, while Logan is in major growth mode, you can still find townhouses in the $350,000 range. That's always surprising because Logan does house one of our major universities, the Utah State University. And typically university cities tend to be more expensive. So we do think it's only a matter of time before Logan skyrockets in terms of house prices. But for now though, the median home price is sitting at 415,000 and there is a lot of new construction currently that you can get for a great price. Logan has pretty much every type of restaurant, store, and anything like that you could ever want, and a pretty good job network. So it's got a great medium price point for all that it has to offer. A lot of the surrounding cities are still farmland, so it's got a nice, quiet appeal to it while still being a bigger suburb. The caveat to living in Logan is that if you ever do have to commute to Ogden or Salt Lake, the quickest way takes you through a canyon, which can be stressful to drive through in the snow if you aren't comfortable driving in inclement weather, which even though I live in Utah, I am not. <laughs> So coming in at number six is gonna be Spanish Fork. Here's another city that's towards central Utah, and it's approximately 47 minutes away from Salt Lake City, so really not too bad of a commute if you are working in the city, but you want affordable housing. People love the Spanish Fork community because it hosts a ton of events, and it's got that suburban rural feel mixed to it, kind of like Logan does. You'll find a lot of families living in Spanish Fork, but also a lot of young professionals that just graduated from college that are just starting off their first jobs. Currently, the median price point in Spanish Fork is around 492,000, which is higher than the rest of the cities on our list so far. But given its proximity to the city, which also has Silicon Slopes next to it, which is our tech area, that's actually quite good. There's a lot of new construction homes and townhouses being built in Spanish Fork. So your options at that price point are actually really pretty good. Okay, so the next city on our list is Tooele, or if you're not from here, Tooele, but it's really pronounced Tooele. Now, Tooele is way west of Salt Lake, heading towards Wendover, but the commute is still reasonable if you work in Salt Lake, about an hour away. Tooele has really grown in the last 10 years or so and has everything you need in the vicinity so that you wouldn't have to travel outside of the city except for work or very specific foods or shopping. If you do have to travel, though, it can be a pain in the winter due to the lake effect. Since you travel right by the Great Salt Lake to get in and out of Tooele, the roads can be really bad in the wintertime. Tooele is another suburb rural mix, although it is getting bigger as we've stated, so it's turning more into a straight suburb in recent years. The median home price in Tooele currently is $421,000 with a mix of newer and older homes. The community is both young families and retirees, so you get a good mix of everything in this city. Okay, now we are going all the way down to southern Utah to Cedar City, which is about an hour north of St. George. Cedar City is home to Southern Utah University and the famous Shakespearean Festival, which people actually do travel from all over the country to participate in and to also experience it. It's definitely an arty college type of city. I actually spent some of my high school years in the Cedar City St. George area, and I can tell you that it's a great city for its outdoor recreation. I love spending time in, you know, Cedar Breaks, Bryce Canyon, all that kind of stuff is really only about half an hour to 45 minutes away. And then you do have Zions again, which is only again, still about 45 minutes away. So if you like hiking, um, skiing, any of that kind of stuff, St. George and Cedar City are definitely going to be, you know, those great outdoor areas. And Cedar City Mountain actually had some of my favorite camping of all times. There's this place called Yankee Meadows up there, which is just full of quakies. And I mean, just miles and miles of it. And then they actually have this thing called Navajo Lake, which has a bunch of lava rock surrounding it as well, which is 
kind of different, you know, um, for a lake. So definitely check that out if you are in the Cedar City area. Now, in terms of housing, the median home price in Cedar is currently at about 450,000. You can really find some nice homes in Cedar and it's really growing, but a lot of the people do commute into St. George for various reasons as Cedar is on the smaller side in terms of what a city has to offer. Okay, so coming in at number nine is Roosevelt, which is a small city that provides a quiet lifestyle and a really tight-knit community feel. If you really, truly love that small town feel, then you will love Roosevelt. It still has pretty good amenities and a lot of great outdoor recreation opportunities, as does much of Utah. The current median price point in Roosevelt is 400,000, but it does have a good deal of newer homes going up right now. They're definitely growing and the typical residents are mostly families and retirees. Since it is a smaller community, you really get to know your neighbors and all, there's always someone willing to lend a helping hand. If that's the kind of area you like, then Roosevelt is definitely one to check out. All right, so coming in at number 10 is gonna be Vernal. Okay, now to be completely honest, most people that choose to live in Vernal are retired or work on farms. They have virtually no job opportunities in the area, so you would definitely have to commute out and really quite a distance from the city in order to have any type of real job. Well, I will say though, it does offer some really beautiful outdoor recreation opportunities and really affordable housing. It has quite a bit of farmland and ranchers. That's kind of the spirit of Vernal in, in general. You've got Flaming Gorge right there, so there's rafting and fishing and camping and then a ton of really cool things to do outdoors. So if you do love the outdoors, the proximity to that is going to be really cool and awesome for you. Right now, the median home price in Vernal is a 321,000. It's definitely one of the lowest you're going to find in the state. Now it's not for everyone, especially if you think about the resale value and all those things, but for the right person, Vernal's definitely going to be the most affordable place to live in Utah. All right, guys, those are the top 10 cheapest places to purchase a home here in Utah. Again, each city has its own set of pros and cons. So depending on what you're looking for, there's really something for everyone in terms of the different types of cities. Picking where you'll call home is an important decision, and we would love to help you make that smooth transition to Utah. If you're looking to purchase in the northern Utah area, we would love to help you out. Give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. And until next time, we are keeping it real estate.